Welcome to a heavenly home. I'm so glad you're here today, my friends. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. Today, I have for you an IKEA hack. I'm going to show you how I take these drawers and give them a facelift to give them a better look because they are a little plain. What I'm going to do is work with the back side of each drawer because the front has that little gap, the one that would be to insert your finger, and there's no way to cover that. So instead of trying to cover that, I'm using the back end of it because it's straight and there's no gaps. So using some of these wood planks that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, what I'm doing is taking some wood glue and gluing them on to the front. This is gonna give it some 3D dimension and it's just gonna give it a better look. So I start off by gluing on one side and I'm just winging it. I know that if I am careful, I can just by looking at it, I'll be able to determine whether or not it's straight. So making sure that when I glue on the next one that I am following it so that they're level to each other. And here you can just see that I already did the first two, which I started with the larger drawer. Now moving on to the smaller drawers. And it just turned out that these wood planks were the perfect size and they fit perfectly. So once I glue them on, I just make sure that I you run my nail. Across the edge to remove any glue that might have squeezed out. Take the other drawer and I place it next to the one that I just finished working on so that I can eyeball it and see that they're gonna be um, leveled to each other. For the smaller drawers, you'll see that the wood planks need to be cut down. So what I'm doing here is placing one on top of the drawer and just kind of eyeballing to see what size I want to cut it down to. So I go ahead and measure and I'm going to need three of these so here you're going to see that I'm going to go ahead and cut three pieces down to size. I can honestly say that the way that I'm doing it here, the way I'm showing you that I'm cutting them, was a bit challenging. It took me quite some time so I hope you find a better and faster way of cutting these down. It's just a quick reminder. Be very safe when you're working with saws or anything sharp that could cut you. what's gonna be the front of my drawer. And again, I'm gonna be using the drawer that I just finished working on to level, to use it as a leveler for the next piece. It's gonna guide, it's basically what I'm trying to say, is it's gonna help guide me to make sure that they're all straight and that they don't look crooked. And just make sure you wipe off any excess that might have squeezed out.
I'm going to be using some of this Rust-Oleum chalk white paint. I decided that I only want to paint the front of the drawers. I just think that this just painting the front is going to work for me. to the side and let them dry. While they dry, I'm gonna go ahead and continue painting the actual body of the drawers. I'm starting off by painting the top or maybe be possibly even the bottom of the body. And I'm gonna continue to just paint all around. I won't be painting the back or the inside. I'm mostly focused on what's visible, which will be the top, the sides, and the front pieces. So if you feel like you want to go ahead and paint the inside and the back, please do so. This is just for inspiration. To be able to paint the front, I went ahead and switched paint brushes. I'm using a very small slim size paintbrush.
this. I have pretty much been eyeballing this entire project. I haven't done any measuring. So again, I'm eyeballing the center. I'm drilling my hole and I'm screwing on my pool. I am using two different sizes. I have three small ones that are gonna be um, put on the smaller drawers and then I have the two large ones that are gonna go onto the bigger drawers as you can see here. They were a brownish color, so to match my home decor, I decided to give them that spray paint in a color that matches my decor. Okay guys, here you can see that I'm having to drill the holes once again because the first hole I drilled was way too small and I was struggling to insert my nail, my screw into the drawers. So I ended up having to get a thicker drill bit to make the hole larger. So make sure that if you do, do something like this, that you drill your hole on the first round the correct size. Finally managed to get my doorknobs on. Finally, after three tries. Now we get to move forward to the next step. I'm gonna be lining my drawers. I want them to have a nice grayish velvety material because I believe that it's gonna look nice. So what I'm doing is taking some cardboard and just measuring for size of the bottom inside of the, each drawer. And once I've measured, I'm gonna go ahead and cut down my board to size. Once I cut it, I'm gonna go ahead and do a dry fit to see if the size is the correct one. to cover my cardboard. So what I'm doing here is laying out my material so that I can trace out my cardboard 
onto the material so that I can cut it down to size and glue it onto the cardboard. So here I'm just creating my pattern by tracing the cardboard with a pencil. Once I've done that, I go ahead and trim it down accordingly. to glue on my cardboard onto my material. Once I've done that, then I can go ahead and trim it down.
now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and start to insert my board into each one of those drawers. And you're gonna see that they are exact size and the fit is perfect. bigger drawer and the two middle drawers give off this look as if it's four instead of three and it kind of gives it a more cohesive even look. I really like how it turns out and another thing to pay attention to is even though I was winging it and not really doing any measuring they turned out to be pretty even. And this is the completed project. Guys, these drawers have lots of space and can be used to store so many things. Here I am showing you how I am using it to store cosmetics, showing you how I have several eye palettes and there's still a lot of space to add a few more. One drawer for my brushes, my pens, this IKEA piece can be used in the restroom, bedroom, office, anywhere to hold many things. I hope you've enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe like share thank you for watching make sure to check out some of my other videos hope to see you soon bye